The Watson family is made up of Reverend Isaac Watson, Andrea Watson, Samantha Watson, Brooklyn Watson, and Bailey Watson. Isaac is a pastor of a local church. Andrea is a nurse. They have been married for 20 years. Samantha, age 25, is a student at Harvard Law School. She is the Reverend's daughter from a previous marriage. Brooklyn, age 17, is a junior in high school, and Bailey, age 15, is a freshman in high school. The family is in their second session. The family was referred to me when daughters Brooklyn and Bailey got into a heated argument at school, which was surrounding family issues. The family could be described as being in the family with adolescence life stage. In this meeting, an assessment will be given to the family. This will allow the family and the worker to develop a plan to work towards the problem of communication and other typical family issues when raising adolescents. The solution focused method will be used when working with the Watson family. All right, Watson family, I'm so glad y'all met with me again. You know, last week was really good, you know, getting to know you all. Um, first off, girls, um, I know you're, you know, talking to your friends and what, but do you mind if, like, I put your phones over on the cabinet for, you know, just a few minutes so that we can connect as a family and, you know, be as one and focus together? No. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Bailey, would you mind? Bailey? Yeah. May I, may I put your phone over in the cabinet, please? You may. Thank you. And Brooklyn, do you mind? Just. I do mind. Well, could you just put it away? Okay. Thank you. Um, we're just gonna lay over here, and it'll be, it'll be fine. Okay. So first off, um, let's reflect on while we're here. Um, you know. These two ladies had an issue at school, um, and you all felt like it was a more of a family issue, you know, like a communication and that kind of thing. Um, so I want to ask each of you all the question. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how well do you think your commu your family communicates with each other? Which is the highest? Um, ten's the highest, and one's the lowest. Um, Reverend, I'll start with you. How do you think you're... I would say about a nine. Okay, so you think you communicate really well? Yes. Okay. Um, Miss Andrea? It'd probably be like a seven. It's hard to get to talk to some of the daughters. Okay, and why do you think it's hard to talk to some of the daughters? Some of them don't want to listen. Okay, so, okay. And Samantha, how do you feel communication is? Well, I think if we go individually with different family members, it would be a different number. I think my communication with my dad is definitely a 10, but it goes down as you get to the other family members. Okay, like which family members? Um, like you said you have good communication with your dad, but like what about your mom? Oh, the one who gave a 7, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Miss Bailey, how do you feel the communication is? like a negative one. Okay. Um, why do you feel that low? Because she's never here. She's always sneaking out at night and they never listen about anything. Okay. Um, what do, what do you mean they don't listen? Like, I always have to do stuff around the house that she doesn't have to do, like, cook dinner and clean and stuff like that. Like, she has so less responsibilities than I do. Um, and now Brooklyn, how do you feel the communication is within the house? I would say like a two. Okay. And why do you say that? Because no one listens to me when I tell them that she's always complaining. Okay. So, you two are the reason that we're here. And I can definitely tell there's some tension going on. Um, so I think we should, you know, focus our time on you all and you know, sorting through these these tight fibers within ourselves. Um, okay, Brooklyn, tell me if, like, you could wake up in the morning and everything was perfect, what would it be? She wouldn't be there. I'd be an only child. Okay, so you don't get along with Samantha either? No. Okay. 
Um, has there ever been a time that you've gotten along? No. With your family? Even when you were little? No? Okay, why do you think that is? I don't know. I feel abandoned. Okay. When you, like, by who? The entire family. So by your sister Bailey, Samantha, your mom, and your dad? Okay. Um... If there, is there one person, though, in, within the family that you can talk to more than you can any of the others? No. Okay. Um, all right, let me, you know, think about this for a second. Okay. Um, and Bailey, uh, you're another one. You, you know, have any issues. Um, if you could wake up in the morning and everything would be perfect, how would it look? If life was perfect. I know what your sister just said, like she would be gone, she you'd be she'd be an only child. And then that kind of cuts deep, but like do you feel the same way or no, I'm good with her. Okay. Um, do you wish like your relationship with Brooklyn was better? I guess. Okay. Um so Mom, do you see the issue, that, have you seen the issue that they are having within the house, or is it, has it just came to surface here in the past couple weeks? I know Brooklyn's always been the one to be a little bit more wild, but I don't think it's quite as bad as I feel like. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so, um, we know there's a problem from school, um, and this all started with you two getting in an argument, um, and they brought you all in to see me, um, and we really haven't even got to the bottom of what the argument was over. Um, Brooklyn, you have a look on your face, like, I don't want to be here. Okay, um, Brooklyn. The rest of their family is just sitting here. They're not going to voice anything. Do you tell me what the problem is? I get blamed for everything. Okay. Anytime anything bad happens, it's always my fault. Okay. Give me examples, please. There's so many times I couldn't even give you one example. Okay. Now, Bailey. Move to you. You're in a box by yourself. Your family's just sitting here. You tell me what started the argument. Her. What about Brooklyn? Because, once again, she never has any responsibilities for anything. And I'm always the one that does everything. And she's always out doing stuff. So it's just frustrating. Okay, never out been. doing stuff. Do you, are you, do you feel like you're taking on her responsibility? Yeah, and I don't feel like I should because she's older than me, but she doesn't act like it. So when she's out doing stuff, what do you feel she's out doing? I don't know, like partying, whatever, I don't know. She sneaks out all the time. Okay. So, um, Mr. and Ms. Watson, did you have any idea that your daughter was sneaking out? I, I've been unaware of any circumstances when she's been leaving the house. So this is all news to me. I don't know if you've known about anything. No, I can't remember. Okay. Samantha, um, I know you're away at college most of the time. Um, how have you been, how, have you known about the sneaking out? Oh, I've known very little. I only know what Bailey has told me because um, she'll talk to me some, but like you said, I'm very rarely ever here. Okay. And so the things I've known were way in the past when I was home more often. So no, I wasn't aware of the current things that are happening. Okay. Um, so you two talk occasionally. I'm like, you all send text messages and, you know, Kind of say, because you're in college several hundred miles away, um, and you just happen to be here on break. Um, 
do you all find like you all have a closer bond? I feel like she's the only one that I can talk to at all. So even out of your parents? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's go with that a minute. That's a that's a very positive thing. You know, just have someone to talk to. Um, really, I feel like you have resentment built up against Brooklyn. Um, so maybe, you know, um, just going, like, being able to talk to your sister about your other sister, you know, to get it off your chest. Like, that's a good way to look at it. Um, and then, parents, um, obviously you both work, and, you know, I understand being a pastor is a definitely hard job, you know, you've got the whole community looking at you, and, you know, um, how do you think that you can, like, take your family and just kind of, like, work on the problems? What can you yourself do? I think that we just need to carry out what we take from these meetings and actually implement them into our household, talking more, uh, just trying to hear what each of the girls have to say about, see if they feel like it's going on at school, uh, I feel like I need to work on my communications with Bailey and Brooklyn more because, as uh, Sam said, we have a better line of communication than I do with the other two groups. That's something I think I should work on. Okay, that's great. Um, it's just not fair. Okay, what do you mean it's not fair? He's always busy talking to her, Samantha, because of his previous marriage but he doesn't have any time to talk to our daughters. Okay, I'm sorry. My mom passed away. I don't know why he brings up. You just... Oh. It's just going to get worse when the new baby gets here. A new baby? I saw the pregnancy test. I haven't taken any pregnancy test. It's probably hers. You know, oh, she's always right. right. No, no, she's no. the one seeking out all the time. Fine. It's mine. With who? Don't worry about it. I'm your father. You just, I deserve to know. So this is how you're going to talk to me? You want me to talk to you? I'm talking. Not like this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, this is definitely a big blow, and I can tell by all your faces, no one was expecting this. Um, okay, we need to, you know, this is something we're going to have to roll with, because obviously there's going to be a new person coming into the family. Or, you know, we're going to look into options. Um, first off, we need to um, make a plan. Um, Brooklyn, have you been to the doctor or anything? No. Okay, how long, how far long do you think you want? I think six weeks. Okay. Um, do we have insurance? Yes. Or anything? Okay, that's great. That's awesome, you know. Don't have to worry about that being paid for. Um, can you all call and set up an appointment? Do you mind, you know, have, have your parents go with you since you are a minor? Yes, um, not. Okay. Um, go ahead and set up an appointment, and let's see how far along she is. You know, um, look into options. You know, there is abortion. There is, um, you know, adoption if you want to go that route, or if you just want to raise the child. Um, look, go into all this, and I will be here to provide you with any information about that that you need. Um, and then let's work on the communication. Obviously, we're going to have to communicate well with Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, um, how are you handling this whole pregnancy? Better now, I guess. It's better that it fits out. Okay, that's great. Um, let's work on, you know, this, we're going to set up another meeting. Um, and let's work on between now and the next time we meet, um, work on telling each other how we feel. And, you know, just be truthful to one another. But getting things out and open can help. Obviously, she said she feels relief, so, you know, that may help the others. Um, it's definitely going to be stressful. It's going to take some toll on the family, but, you know, you all do care. That's why you're here. So, if you all did care about one another, 
all five of you went in mine, so that's that. So, um, let's just work on that. You could all do one set up and go from there. Okay?